Hello, everyone, and welcome to our World Premieres Concert. My name is Erin Bush, and I'm the founder and executive director of the Young Women Composers Camp, and I am thrilled to welcome you all here to this virtual space. We have had another fantastic summer with 45 young composers from all across the U.S., Canada, and Asia, and we are so proud of the ideas that they've come up with, the questions that they've asked, and the community that they have helped us to build. Before we begin, I would like to thank our faculty members, Inti Figus Vizueta, Flannery Cunningham, Bahar Rai, and Tonia Ko. I'd love to thank them for working with our composers so well and helping them to explore new ways of making music. I also want to thank the wonderful performers in today's concert. We have Hannah Levinson and Maya Bernardo of the Anne Play duo, Felicia Chen and Ollie J.P. Harris of the Mazumal duo, and Rose Hegel and Stephanie Lamprea of the Peridot duo. All of these individuals have put in significant time and effort to work with our composers, and they've helped them to feel comfortable asking questions and trying new things. I also want to thank all of our guest faculty, our intern Kira Mahoney, our video and audio engineer Julie McLaughlin, our board, and all of the generous donors who have helped to make this summer possible. We could not do this without your help. As a quick heads up, a few of the pieces in today's concert do require content warnings for profanity and mentions of mental illness. These content warnings will appear before the video program notes for that particular piece. At this point, I'd like to invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Molly, and my work Pool, scored for electronics and the brilliant Peridot duo, captures the balance between familiarity and the unknown. Through unpredictable staccato passages, magnified audio samples from my own backyard, and the ethereal timbre of glass harp, Pools illustrates the feeling of swimming at a new beach. While you may be familiar with the sand and sea, much of what lurks beneath water's surface will remain a mystery. I would like to thank the fantastic Peridot duo, Flannery Cunningham and YWCC, and hope you enjoyed tonight's performance. Caroline Scarbutennis and my piece Waiting Through Four Eyes is about the different perspectives of waiting and how the feeling of wait can occupy differently within people depending on the situation. The first singer represents kind of a more hopeful outlook on wait um, as actively waiting for the future is something they're excited to do, while the other singer represents a more anxiety-filled um, version of waiting where they're frustrated that they have to wait in the first place because it's um, kind of taking up their time and they want to continue with their life. Um, so this kind of just shows the different perspectives and how they come together.
Hello, my name is Leia, and today Peridot will be performing my piece, Tiny Theatre. As we're all watching this concert online, I suspect that many of you will feel that your life intersects very heavily and messily with technology more than ever before. I definitely feel this way, and that as a result of which my ideas of time, presence, being here or there, being together have changed a lot. Um, so I wanted to stage an interaction between two people that really explores this new ability we have to manipulate time, to be together with someone while also being extremely far apart, and how people can take that in different directions. So I really hope that you'll enjoy this piece and that it might resonate with ways in which you yourself are trying to find some amusement, intimacy and connection in our very mediated lifetime. Thank you very much to Stephanie and Rose and of course to YWCC.
let's say by then. But before that. Yeah? Together. Kennedy Carranza and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. My piece titled Duel of Dragons is about an epic battle between two dragons and ultimately their mutual demise. Thank you to Anne Play Duo for bringing this composition alive and YWCC for allowing me to go out of my comfort zone. Thank you and I hope you enjoy. My name is Annalisa Patty, and I'm a young composer from South Jersey. My piece, Two Bodies, is a celebration of the relationship between the sun and the moon, two celestial bodies that are often seen as opposites, but I personally see as two sisters that complement each other, despite never being in the same realm. The dialogue between the viola and the violin embodies this relationship between the sun and the moon perfectly, which is what inspired my piece. Enjoy.
Hi, my name is Isa, and this is my piece, Music is Organized Sound, a piece in five acts. Uh, this for me was an exploratory piece as a classically trained musician. Um, each act starts out with the same theme, but then delves into a new development using some of these new, newer techniques. Um, and so it was very exciting for me to get to see these sort of developments that could come and arise from the same sort of theme. Hope you enjoy! My name is Hannah Moore and I'm the composer for the next piece you're going to hear titled It's a Macro Microcosm. I wrote this piece during YWCC for the duo Mazumal. While at YWCC I got to hear everybody's uh, compositional process and just like how they go about things and was really inspired to try to write a piece all by ear so that's what I did. It's a Macro Microcosm starts with a dark playful section, moves into a light soaring section, and ends with a combination of those two. I hope you enjoy.
hear my piece called Meditations on Anatidae. Anatidae are a group of birds, so um, ducks, geese, swans, other waterfowl. Um, I've been really inspired lately by the way that they just float over any ripples in the water, um, and they have this really sort of strange beauty to them, so I wanted to work that into my piece. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening. Bye!
we've all been through it. The initial fumble. The anguish as it falls just beyond our reach. But the real question is, what happens to the ice cream? Hi, I'm Zoe Fishlaw, and this is Dropped Ice Cream and Lost Balloons. Bridges. I am a rising sophomore at the Jacob School of Music. The piece you're about to hear, entitled Healer, is for two voices, a cardboard box, and metal spoons. 
Healer is a representation of a conversation that escalates into an argument and resolves with a sort of compromise at the end. The piece itself has an extended vocal range with microtonal glissandos and uses the box and spoons in multiple ways to add to the texture and create an additional interaction between the vocalists. And here is Healer. Enjoy.
Hello, my name is Lyra Charles Chu, and I'm from Toronto, Canada. The piece I've written for the Peridot Duo is called Clinging to Sanity. This is a very interesting piece for me as I've never written for voice before, and I'm really grateful for this opportunity to try something new. Please enjoy. I'm Han, and I've written Broken Records for Paradox Duo. Uh, all of the text here is based on hesitation phenomena, which includes words such as like, um, I mean, and you know. These words are often considered uh, detrimental and unnecessary in the English language speaking norm, but I kind of wanted to reinvent the associations that come with them. So that's what this piece is about. Big shout out to YWCC, Paradox Duo, and of course, Flannery Cunningham. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy this piece.
Hey everyone, my name is Katie Steiner. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and my piece, titled From You, is a vocal duet for two sopranos. The two voices represent the same person at two different points in their life, who pose a question at the beginning, and the rest of the song is their answer. There are some places where their answers are much the same, and others where there are distinct differences that highlight the passage of time, and how it affects one's outlook on the past, the present, and the future. Please enjoy. If I could write a letter, if you could write a letter back to that day, if you could send a letter, one letter, what would I you'll make it here someday. Dear ten-year-old me, from twenty-one-year-old you, it's okay to be afraid. It matters what you do. Marone. The piece I wrote for this camp, entitled Flight of the Peregrine, takes the listener through the soundscape of a peregrine falcon's flight through a mountain. This piece is inspired by a recent trip through Acadia National Park and Mount Desert Island, Maine. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy.
Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Millar. I'm a composer from Brooklyn, New York, and I wrote a piece called Scurry for violin and viola, which you will all hear shortly. The music is meant to represent the small creatures that you may find scurrying or moving with very short, quick steps underneath your bed at night. And so going off of that story, I really just tried to alternate between short and long notes, as well as dramatic pauses, in order to convey an overall sense of intensity and suspense throughout. I really had fun experimenting with this piece, so I hope you all enjoy it as well.
name is Mina Williams, and this is my piece echoing off the ricochet. I came up with the title after the first few measures of my piece. I imagined myself walking through a landscape of nature, either throwing rocks off a cliff or into a stream. This piece isn't meant to be played uh, fast or abruptly or sudden. It's meant to be played slow, serene, and calm. Hello, my name is Jack Jaya. It's for cello and voice, composed for Mazumal Duo, um, who are performing this piece. Uh, they are an incredible duo, and I'm very glad to be composing for them. Um, I'm very thankful to everyone at YWCC and ND for teaching me about more extended techniques and ways of notating. I hope you enjoy this piece.
running out of view is about two people, each with a different goal in life. We have a cellist who has a vision where nothing, not even love, can come in between that. They have a set path, but still have their own freedom of themselves. While the voice is following the cello, but not realizing this isn't their journey. Sometimes people get so involved with another that they forget who they truly are. Hi, I'm Hannah Sobel. My piece for Mazumal today is a setting of my close friend and collaborator, Ruben Gelling Newman's poetry. 
Throughout the piece, I tried to capture the feeling of Ruben and I's kind of maniacal, hysterical conversations about music and obsession and the way that they interact in our lives. I really hope that you enjoy. And I would also like to add a content warning right now for profanity. John, and my piece that will be presented today is titled Asphyxia. As I was writing this piece, my mind wandered to the different occurrences of asphyxiation, this concept of suffocation, which might seem kind of morbid, but it stems from a desire to understand this sensation as both a physical and emotional experience, and the memories and feelings it evokes, and how this experience can take place both consciously and or subconsciously, painfully and or pleasantly. Thank you to Rose and Stephanie for all the effort they've put in to perform my work. This is Asphyxia, and I hope it provides you with an experience to think about. Hello. Hello. Hello?
Hello everybody, my name is Tolia Wangsini and today my piece called How to Swim is going to be performed by the Peridot duo. This piece starts out sweet and predictable but then becomes more chaotic. and Stephanie are going to be performing my piece titled The Timeless Rip. This piece holds a special place in my heart because it represents my growing love for astronomy and this piece represents just a fraction of the magnitude and unpredictability of space. The concept itself is terrifying especially for me but I also think that it's wonderful to know. Thank you everyone and I hope you have a wonderful time.
And with that, we have reached the end of the performance. I'd like to extend a huge congratulations to all of the composers and performers on tonight's concert, and I'd also like to thank everyone in the virtual audience for being here with us and supporting the next generation of female, trans, and non-binary composers. If you enjoyed tonight's performance, I'd invite you to join us tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern to hear premieres composed by the other half of our cohort. Both concerts will also be archived on our Facebook and YouTube pages to view at a later time. Thank you again for joining us and have a wonderful rest of your night. See you next time.